Hey guys, today I'm super excited to talk to you about a new Prime Video series called Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It stars Maya Erskine and Donald Glover, and I've got to tell you, I was cautiously optimistic about this one. I love the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and I was like, how can they make this into a series? That's interesting. Let's see what they do. And they do such a good job. First of all, I mean, with these stars, it's, it's, bound to be good, right? They're phenomenal and they're so good together during rough patches, during not so rough patches. Like they're so great. Their chemistry on screen is just absolutely incredible, but that's not all. Like there's so many like little pop-ins, cameos, whatever you want to call them from like so many big name actors. Like I don't even want to spoil anything, but there's Almost every episode, pretty much every episode, you're like, oh my God, so-and-so is in this. What? They're in this too? Oh my God. You know, it's one of those like, wow, like talk about just incredible lineup of people coming in and out of this show. Now, I also have to tell you that it's very, very different. It's not that same story that we have from the film. It's different. And that's what I love about this. They did such a great job bringing something new to this and making it its own thing. It's not the movie. Um, and this world that they have created, there is possibility for so many different versions of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, so many different roads they can go down, so many different things they can give us. They could give us another movie. They could give us series, series starring different people. Like there's so much that they have created with this. And it's so smart. This world building, this building of the company, it's, it's absolutely brilliant, brilliant writing. It's funny. There's drama. There's so much intense action sequences because of course it's Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You know, it's like a spy thriller, but it's funny. It's also like kind of like a rom-com. This is, yeah, that's a great way to put it. It's rom-com meets spy thriller and they intertwine so well. It's so good. There's so many things I want to talk about that are very spoilery, but it, I will not. So don't worry. So it's eight episodes. Like I said, it comes to prime video, um, February 2nd. So there's eight episodes and the way it ends, I about jumped out of my chair when I found out there was not another episode. I was like, are you kidding me? So we better get a season two. Um, I, there were moments in this, in this show that I teared up. There were moments I was laughing so hard. I was crying. There were moments I was literally on the edge of my seat because of the action we were getting. I absolutely love Maya and Donald together. They are so good. They are so good. I can't even like, I, there's, I can't, I can't put it into words how great they are together. And like I said, I was very, very nervous about this, this show because you have the movie. And for those of you who don't know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith in the movie, um, there's two spies, right? They don't know each other are spies and they're married to each other. And then eventually they find out they're tasked to kill each other, yada, 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 right? So that is kind of what Mr. and Mrs. Smith is about. In this series, I'm trying to figure out what I can say that's not really spoilery. I know what I can say. So both of them are spies, but they're matched. So the company has matched them together. So they already know, which I think is good because honestly, you would have this like, when are they going to find out what's going to happen? It, you know what I mean? Through the entire um, season. And I think it would bog it down. And instead, we're able to just jump right into it. Like, OK, these two are matched. What is that like? They don't even know each other, you know, and now they have to be married. And it's like, where is this going to go? What's going to happen? Will they, won't they? That's obviously the rom-com aspect of it. Um, but then you get to see them in action and they're so incredible in action. There's so many great action sequences in this series. Um, pretty much every episode has one. I will say I have a little, little problem. My only real problem with, with this series is it does kind of show us the highlights of their relationship. So like, I want to say it's maybe episode six, five or six. You kind of get like, it feels like you've skipped time. You you have, right? It's been months at this point. Um, and, you know, I get it because it could get kind of old and mundane if you're like, okay, here they are. They're on a mission. This is happening. So they had to switch some things up, of course, right? But it does kind of feel like 
you're missing some stuff you would maybe want to see. Uh, but really, that's like such a small nitpick because, like I said, the action is great. The humor is great. The two of them together are fantastic. They're so good. And there's so much happening in this in this show. And the way they tie things back together, back around, um, a little bit predictable in that final episode. In episode eight, things were a little predictable at times. Uh, but I wasn't mad at it. I was happy I was right um, because it's something I really wanted to see play out that played out. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So I'm going to stop talking about Mr. and Mrs. Smith before I spoil things, but I will say I absolutely loved, loved this series. I think it was fantastic. I put it on. I binged it in two days uh, when I got the screeners. And so I just listen. It's so good. I hope we get a season two. But the thing I love about this is it feels like there's a whole world open where we could get many, many Jane and John Smith pairings. We could get so many. They could do so much with this. Um, and I can't wait to see it because hopefully, hopefully we get more of this particular pairing, but I wouldn't be upset with different pairings in the future. I think it's smart. And listen, this better not be the end of it because I can't, I can't sit on that cliffhanger. I can't do it. I can't do it. Although it does, it feels like a lot of stuff is wrapped up in a neat little bow, but then it's not. All right. I'm going to stop talking before I spoil things. You guys will know what I talk, I'm talking about when you see the movie and, or, series. And speaking of, if by the time you get to this review, you've already seen Mr. and Mrs. Smith, let me know what you thought down below in the comments. If you haven't seen it yet, let me know if you're excited for it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you guys can check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks. I'll see you next time.